Hi, everybody. Over the past month, I've been visiting towns across America, talking about what our country needs to do to secure a better bargain for the middle class. This week, I met with high school and college students in New York and Pennsylvania to discuss the surest path to the middle class, some form of higher education. But at a moment when a higher education has never been more important, it's also never been more expensive. That's why over the past four years, we've helped make college more affordable for millions of students and families with grants and loans that go farther than before. But students and families and taxpayers can't just keep subsidizing college costs that keep going up and up. Not when the average college student now graduates with more than $26,000 in debt. We cannot price the middle class out of a college education. That's why I proposed major new reforms to make college more affordable and make it easier for folks to pay for their education. First, we're going to start rating colleges based on opportunity. Are they helping students from all kinds of backgrounds succeed? And on outcomes, their value to students and parents. In time, we'll use those ratings to make sure that the colleges that keep their tuition down are the ones that will see their taxpayer funding go up. Second. We're going to jumpstart competition between colleges over innovations that help more students graduate in less time, at less cost, while maintaining quality. A number of schools are already testing new approaches, like putting more courses online, or basing course credit on competence, not just hours spent in the classroom. And third, we're going to help more students responsibly manage their debt by making more of them eligible for a loan repayment program called Pay As You Earn which caps your loan payments at 10% of what you make. And we'll reach out directly to students to make sure they know that this program exists. These reforms won't be popular with everybody, but the path we're on now is unsustainable for our students and our economy. Higher education shouldn't be a luxury or a roll of the dice. It's an economic imperative that every family in America should be able to afford. Thanks, and have a great weekend.